Ji, have you done it? Have you done it? Raise your hand. Ji, Fatma. Ashif, I have some time to spare on the tenth. Can we meet at eleven a.m.? Correct. Since the second also. Tenth is a Friday. Let me see. No, I'm sorry. I can't see you on Friday. I have packed schedule. Very good, Fatma. That is correct. Next, Umaima. Kashif, that's too bad. You see, I'd like to have me. I have to have this meeting in this month. As I'm going to be traveling in April. Arij, I was wondering, I can't we meet on the weekend, say on Saturday or Sunday. That's fine. We will with me. Correct. Yes, Iman. Weekends are difficult for me. I am always on one relative place or another. It's family time. You see, Abita, it's at one relative place. It is indicating at a small distance, and so at one relative place, not all. Next, Arij. Arij, I can understand. Well then, are you free on the thirteenth? Let's say sometime at the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon, okay, correct, okay. Next, Amna Shabazz, G. Fatma Rahman. G. Fatma, you can do. Yes, teacher. Kashif. Thirteen should be fine. Shall we say we meet at four p.m.? Four p.m. is fine. Uh, see you um, on Monday then. On Monday then. Very good. Okay. Now, students. Ajay, can you can you repeat the second um, comment of Arij? Arij, 
I'm repeating all so you can check your work. Before repeating, I'm just telling you that on is in, uh, comes with date like on 13th, on 14th, on 25th December. And then you can put on with days on Friday, on Monday, on Saturday. With month, you have to put in in January, in April, in March. Add comes with small places at the bus stop, at the park, at school, at night, at dawn, at 2 p.m., at 3 p.m. Okay, please note down all the important points so that you should remember in the morning, in the night, in, uh, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night, at dawn, at dusk. Okay. Now I'm repeating all the answers. Please check. I have some time to spare on the 10th. Can we meet at 11 a.m.? 10th is a Friday. Let me see. No, I'm sorry. I can see you on Friday. Friday is the day, so we are putting on. I have a packed schedule. That's too bad. You see, I would like to have this meeting in this month as I'm going to be traveling in Cape I was wondering, can't we meet on the weekend, say, on Saturday or Sunday? Weekends are difficult for me. I'm always at one relative's place or another. I can't understand. Well, then are you free on the 13th? Let's say sometime in the afternoon. 13th should be fine. Shall we say we meet at 4 p.m.? 4 p.m. is fine. See you on Monday then. Okay? Now, student, exercise D, you have to fill in the blanks using for or since. I have told you for comes with period of time and since indicates point of time. Whenever there is a number, we are going to use for, like for several days, for three days, for one month, for a week, uh, since last month, since last week, since afternoon, since morning, okay, since yesterday, since two o'clock. Then we are going to use this. Now do exercise C. All the students have to do. Okay, so we start with Fatma. Yes, Fatma. First two. Yes, I haven't talked to Ellen for more than a week. Okay. For some reason, today the phone has been ringing since morning. Very good. Next, Iman. Aren't you tired? Who have been working at the computer for the last hours? For the four last hours. four hours. Correct. Next. We have been worrying about our friends since the time we got news that they had lost their way in the woods. Good. Very good, Iman. Correct. Umema? She has been living here for almost 12 years. Mr. Smith has has not been seen by his neighbor since Sunday. Very good, correct. Yes, Amna Shabazz. Amna, unmute your mic window. Teacher, 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 teacher. Richard. Yes, Fatma Rahman. Unmute your mic. 
it is difficult to concentrate concentrate after after you have done maths for three periods in a row i have stopped trusting him since he broke his promise to me the last time Oh, good. Okay, I'm going to repeat the answers. Please check your work, all of you. I haven't talked to Alan for more than a week. For some reason today, the phone has been ringing since morning. Aren't you tired? You have been working at the computer for the last four hours. We have been worrying about our friends since the time we got news that they had lost their way in the war. She has been living here for almost twelve years. Mister Smith has not been seen by his neighbors since Sunday. It is difficult to concentrate after you have done maths for three periods in a row. I have stopped trusting him since he broke his promise to me the last time. Okay, students. Now use of during while until and by. During means when. Uh, Something is happening for a fixed time period. For example, during the exam, I remained, uh, I concentrated on my paper only. Okay. During the journey, he kept reading books. Okay. So action is for a fixed time period. Like the exam is fixed time period. Journey is a fixed time period. Journey can be either three hours or four hours journey. Okay. while means like when an action is going on so while i was cleaning the floor i saw a coin on the bed okay uh, the farmer saw a snake while he was plowing the field plowing the field okay by is used to indicate that action is completed not later than a fixed time like you have to complete this project by monday i have given you a time period you have to submit the homework by tuesday okay until is a conditional clause until or unless you will finish your work you cannot go out okay now students exercise e you have to fill in the blanks using during or while exercise e f n g okay first of all do exercise e When you have done, please raise your hand. Jir during kab hatte? Jir during when you have is fixed interval of time and action is a fixed interval of time. Okay. 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 Yes, Fatma. First. 
We spotted Seema and chatted with her during the interval of the movie. Very good. Subscribe during the because movie is of fixed duration. It is of okay. two hours or three hours, so we will not use while. So it is during. Yes, correct. Good. The doorbell rang thrice while we were having dinner. Exactly, because your uh, action is not for a uh, fixed uh, interval. Okay. Like you were having the action is in continuation. Good. Next, Iman. Don't interrupt me while I am talking. Get it? <clears throat> she never once went to the library uh, during her first year at college. Very good. Correct answer. Yes, Amna Shabazz. <coughs> I read a dozen books while I was in the hospital. That is correct. But, uh, it is pronounced as dozen. How do you pronounce it as dozen? Okay. I read a dozen books while I was in the hospital. Correct. Answer is correct. Next. For the past week or so, we've been hearing a child cry during the night. Very good. Correct answer. Yes, now, Umayma. Yes, Umayma. Okay, Fatma Rahman. Yes, Fatma. She was bitten by snacks. Chris. Uh, snakes thrice thrice during her research in the rainforest correct he he wrote he wrote his autobiography while he his his stay in the prison during during his stay okay correct better because uh, in the present, he is there for a fixed time period, okay? So, during. I'm going to repeat the answers. Please check the work. He spotted Seema and chatted with her during the interval of the movie. Total rang twice while we were having dinner. Please don't interrupt me while I'm talking. She never once went to the library during her first year at college. I read a dozen books while I was in the hospital. For the past week or so, we have been hearing a child cry during the night. She was bit by snakes thrice during her research in the rainforest. He wrote his autobiography during his stay in the film. Okay. Now, in exercise F, you have to fill in the blanks using until or by. Until is some conditional clause, and by indicates when, like, by when something must be done. Like, you have to. Uh, give me the homework copies by uh, Thursday. Okay? Do it. Teacher, I want to ask a question. In yes. exercise E, sentence number 7, she was uh -huh. bitten by snakes thrice during her research in the rainforest. Why we will not put while? Because it's not a fixed time have been doing research for a fixed time period, okay? When you are doing research, you know that research is for two months or three months. While it's something when, when something is going on, okay? When something is going on, that is for fixed time. Okay? okay. That is fine. Yes.
Yes, have you done, Vita? Can we start? <clears throat> yes. Okay. Amna, you can start. <clears throat> Do the first one. We spotted <coughs> Seema with no, her no. during no, the interval of the movie. No, no. Exercise F. Fill in the blanks using until or by. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't pay the phone bill yet. Wait until the phone company contacts you regarding your complaint. Yes, number two, Vita. She's staying with her friend by Monday. After that, she will move into her own apartment. It's until Monday. Why it is until Monday? Because it is telling you till when, till how long. Okay. So over here, you are going to post. She's staying with her friend until Monday. Means till Monday. After that, until or till is the same thing. After that, she will move into her own apartment. Number three. Yes, Fatma. I must leave now because I have to be home by 5 o'clock. Correct. We can't rest until we have met her and talked to her. Correct. Good. Next, Umayma. <coughs> yes, Umayma. 5 and 6. Did I have unmuted you? Yes. Remember five and six. I can't hear you. You check your phone as I last. But I can't hear you. Okay, Fatma Rahman, you can do it. It is hope it is hope that the construction will finish will finish until next next month. Hi next month. You are complete some action, not later than a fixed time. By next month. Number six. We won't have another holiday until next summer. Correct. Until next summer. <clears throat> Now, yes, Omeva. Yes, Fatma. Fatma Ifan. Can I? Yes. The plan has to be submitted by. Sorry, I was speaking and my mic was muted. Okay. She did not <laughs> believe me. Um, dash, I showed her the letter until. Yes. Good. Now I'm going to repeat the answers. All of you, please check your work. Don't pay the phone bill yet. Wait until the phone company contacts you regarding your complaint. She's staying with her friend until Monday. After that, she will move into her own apartment. I must leave now because I have to be home by 5 o'clock. We can't rest until we have met her and talked to her. It is hoped that the construction will finish by next month. We won't have another holiday until next summer. Plan has to be submitted by 3 o'clock today. She did not believe me until I showed her the letter. Okay, now students, prepositions of direction. There are so many prepositions which are used for direction like of, across, along, over, through, towards, to, from, up, down, onto, into. Okay, in exercise G, you have to fill in the blanks with appropriate prepositions of direction. Okay? You have to put appropriate, mean proper or suitable prepositions of direction like across, over, through, from, to, along, okay? Up or down. So I'm giving you two minutes time because uh, there are 10 sentences. 
So you can fill in the blanks, then we will do our next exercise. Mm. Tiju, can you explain a little bit about until and by? Okay. By is something when you have to complete something not later than again. Like, for example, if I'm giving you an assignment, okay, I'll say, class, you have to submit this project by Friday. It means not later than Friday. You are, you have to submit me this work by Friday, okay? Until means still. It's a conditional clause. Until you work hard, or we used to say, na, until or unless you work hard, you cannot achieve your goal. It means that how long something is going to exist. Something is going to continue. Okay? I cannot do this project with you until my father gave me permission. Okay? Or gave me permission. Similarly, you can say, like, she did not believe me until I showed her the letter. Until, till. Till I showed her the letter, she did not believe me. Okay, so that, this is the difference between until and by. By is also used as a uh, for preposition, used for traveling also. Like, by car, by road, uh, by taxi, by plane. Okay, by is also used for traveling. Did you in sentence number two, why we put until with Monday? Because you have, you are telling me she is staying with a friend until Monday for how long something is going to exist. It's okay. not like you have to give me this thing by Monday. Not like this. The sentence is okay. she is staying with a friend dash Monday, until Monday. Okay. <laughs> okay, now do exercise three. We have to finish this chapter and we have nine minutes. Teacher, in which exercise we are? Can you please tell? Yeah, there was internet problem. Oh, okay. It's page number 56, exercise G. Page number 56, you can see the slide on your screen. Page number 56, and the last exercise, exercise G. We are filling the blanks with preposition of direction, like from, to, toward, across, up, down. Okay, then we are going to start. Okay. Gee. Who will do the first two because time is short? Yes, Fatima. Can I tell Fat you? Yes, Fatima, do the first. You have to go down the stairs and then towards the corridor to reach the auditorium. Okay. First blank is correct. You have to go down the stairs and then along the corridor. When we are traveling in a corridor, when we are walking in a corridor, na, it means along. It means to go side by okay. side. You are going along the corridor to reach the auditorium. Okay. Correct, Fatma, do the second one also. Mrs. Khan got into a taxi and quickly drove away to the hospital. Very good. Correct. Yes, Umayma. <clears throat> I'll repeat the first two plans so that side by side you can also check your answers. You have to go down the stairs and then along the corridor to reach the auditorium. Mrs. Khan got into a taxi. Action is doing going on okay like she is jumping into a taxi or she's she has got into a taxi and quickly drove away to the hospital yes umema i hope that your mic is working now no okay amna shabazz 
Yes, Amna. The police chased the car, dashed the bridge, and then and dashed the tunnel before forcing it to stop. Ah. First bank is through the bridge. No, uh, it's through the tunnel and over the bridge. Okay, bridge is okay. over something now. So we are going to put over. The police chased okay. the car over the bridge and through the tunnel before forcing it to stop. Number four. If you walk through the, if you walk, dash the river and then turn, dash the market, you will reach the, the school. If you walk along the river, correct, along the river, and then turn, and then towards turn the, towards the market, you will reach the market. Okay, if you walk along the river, please, all of you uh, also check your answers. If you walk along the river and then turn towards the market, you will reach the fifth and sixth. Who will do it? Yes, Iman. The clown kept falling off the horse and then at Red. once jumping up its back again, only to fall down again. Okay. The clown kept falling off, correct? This is double off because when we are using it with the word, we use off. The clown kept falling off the horse and then it was jumping on its back again. Jumping on. Okay, it will on come only to fall off again or fall down again. <clears throat> Both are correct. Number six. Yes, Ima, number six also. She tried to swim uh, from the uh, she tried to swim out of the river where it was narrow. Oh, she tried to swim across the river. She's crossing, huh? She tried to swim across the river where it was narrow. Okay, good try. Yes, who will do the seventh and eighth? Yes, Fatma Rahman, you can try seventh and eighth quickly. Better, we have five minutes left. The boat sailed. The boat sailed along the coast. Along. Yes, side by side along the coast. Number eight. I can't I can't fit so many clothes dash this small bag in the in, into, this, into small this small bag. Small bag. It can be inside this small bag or into this small bag. Okay. The boat sails along the coast. I can't fit so many clothes into this small bag. Nine you can I? Yes, Amanda. Nine. Can you hear me now? Nine, ten, ten. He hurriedly ten, made his way towards the crowd to see where the injured person was laying. Uh, towards the crowd. Okay, yes, correct answer. Oh, Amanda, there's so much noise. I can't hear you properly. Okay. You can be oh. right through the crowd. No. One second, one second. I'll repeat, please. It cannot be. He hurriedly made his way, dashed the crowd to see where the injured person was lying. He hurriedly made his way through the crowd to see where the injured person was lying, or he hurriedly made his way towards the crowd because he's going towards the crowd. Because crowd is around the injured person so he's moving towards the crowd if the crowd was there on the road then you will write it through the crowd okay why can't you wait dash why can't you walk dash the gates like normal people through the gates you always enter by jumping over the wall okay student now exercise h quickly exercise h beta and whatever is left that will be your homework Fill in the blanks by choosing suitable prepositions from the brackets. Now the prepositions are given. You just have to choose them. Okay? One by one. We start with the first one is Amna Shabbat. Amna, do the first one. Can you tell me used into, into? Beta, I'll tell you the difference. <clears throat> the boy poured. In, in, one second, one second, one second. The difference between in and into, on and onto is the same. 
in is used when something is existing inside like the children are in the classroom the sweets are in the jar okay but into refers to if we are putting it after a word like an action is going on the children ran into the classroom the action is going on okay so uh, the the man tried to put sweets into the jar then you have to put into when something is connected with the action when something is already in existence then you have to put in when something is already present somewhere then you have to put in but if you are showing some action after the word then you have to put into for example the first sentence is the boy poured the liquid the boy is doing the action the liquid is not if if we say the liquid is dash the beaker so you will say the liquid is in the beaker but if you are saying i pour the liquid then you are doing an action then you are going to put the i pour the liquid into the beaker so this is the basic difference between in and in okay man now we start can i do the uh, next yes his friends were swimming into the pool uh, his friends were swimming in the pool in the pool. not in the pool okay it's already okay. swimming in the pool they're already swimming if we say i jumped then into the pool okay 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 Can number I? 3 yes <clears throat> she wrote the address on the envelope on the envelope correct next quickly quickly yes iman she lifted the child onto the table very good she lifted the child onto the table because action action connected with action she lifted the child onto the table yes number 5 can i do the next yes the old man was so angry that he shouted at the unruly fellow that is correct good next who will do it iman say can i that she shouted at me from her seat Yes, I was at a distance. She shouted at me from her seat. Okay, it's to me. She shouted to me because we are telling to me. She shouted to me. Teacher, yes. it should be at at me. No, wait now. At me. It cannot be at me because he shouted at me. 